Will Debbie and Carlos Rosas. Good morning. And friends. And friends. <laughs> now, these are... These are two teachers that we have, and uh, this is Julie, who teaches in Selwood, and Vicki, behind me, who teaches at the Multnomah Art Center. Okay, teach, you guys yeah. are all over the city? Um, uh, do you teach in many clubs? I know you're out at River's Edge. We're out at River's Edge and at the Mac, Mac. Club, and also at um, our studio Body Moves in downtown Portland. Now, are they teaching your They're style? teaching They're... our style. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're right. doing NIAC classes. Okay. Um... <laughs> The pain, no pain, no gain, you're way beyond that, aren't we? Way, we, all, we should all be beyond that, shouldn't way, we? Absolutely way beyond that. The idea is that at first, uh, as Victoria said, when everybody went into fitness, they really overdid it. And one of the reasons we decided to change our cardiovascular workout and take out the jogging and jumping was that we really believed that grounded movement was more efficient and that feeling fitness was what it was about. If people could be inside their bodies and feel what they were doing, they could not only make changes, but they could do it safely and really know how they got where they were going. Okay. And also that we don't use pain as the way to monitor success, that we're actually saying actually feeling good can actually give more success. And it's just a matter of retraining our way of thinking and feeling. If I do what you teach me, mm -hmm. your way, could I inevitably enjoy what I'm doing? Absolutely. Because um, I don't like a lot of what I, I mean, treadmilling, you know what I did? Absolutely. I got a television and put it that I far away from boring. me. Yeah. It is boring. It is boring. And it's compartmentalizing your movement. You're doing the same thing over and over again. At least when you go for a walk, you're outside, you're seeing different things, there's stimulation. But doing repetitive movement the same way at the same time right. also puts the body into mode of becoming lazy. <laughs> so it's not stimulating. Jack LaLanne once told us that he, do, he never does the same workout two days in a row. So his body stays very stimulated, awake and alive yeah. and we really believe by getting the person into a movement and and expressing themselves not copying us but really empowering themselves finding out what works for them mm -hmm. how far does their arm run a reach how far can they step back and still feel comfortable in this way they can make changes and discover and learn a whole lot about themselves okay let's do something what yeah. do you all right. do now? okay all right okay. i'll stand back here and you guide me. you sure you don't want to oh i'll, I'll be back here. i want to see you express yourself <laughs> yeah all right, we can have some music and then we'll begin right now. We'll go through a series of movements and we'll begin a little, we'll begin. Okay, we'll begin by doing some soft movements. One, two, three, four, slow, slow. One, two, three, four. The idea is to really reach and expand the body. We use visualization such as yawning with the side of the body. Right side yawns. Everything is fluid. All right, we're doing to a little jazz square. Easy step, front, right. A lot of the motions begin with an easy walk so that you can work systemically, that is, whole body. Believe it or not, all we're doing is walking. It's a right, left, step, walk. However, because of the music, then you can put style to it. Watch. You can go high. You can take it low. A little more leg work. You can Good. keep the chest open, heart you open. Can give it a little bebop. Add uh -huh. more hip. You can be expressive through your chest. And then we can even do some martial arts. We do an extension up, and then with a slight punch or a strike. So we use different dynamics. This is soft, hard, soft. This keeps the body alert, works on balance. There's hey. also the con concept of hey. looking good, wanting to hey. be elegant. Hey. Punching, and then we can return back again into the step of the square. Now we do a step which is similar to voguing. We call it popcorn, and the idea is to close, open into any pose you like. What you want to do is feel the back of the body stretch and the front of the body stretch. Uh. So we work both sides of the body. And then people begin to explore the space. <laughs> and Just a little rhythm. That's Besides, what I, I like the music. Yeah. You, like that? very good you know, music. That's, that's the interesting yeah. thing, too. Once we decided we weren't going to do traditional aerobics and jog and jump up and down, we could use all kinds of music. Reggae, jazz, blues, soul. And it's really inspirational. Okay. 
Well, I backed away. I mean, I walked off because I'm not, you know, you guys are really good at that. Hey, this takes practice. This isn't really hard to do. It just takes a little organization to get comfortable with yourself. It takes letting go. It takes letting yourself as an adult go back into the experience of discovery. Yeah. We tell people to keep their fascination up to about 90% and their frustration down to 10%. Then you can grow and then you can change and have a great time. Okay, we're going to do yoga next after yeah. this. Ooh, You've yeah. done yoga. I, know I you love know all it. About it's a that good stuff, balance. We do yoga. Inside That's and out, good sample. for you all over again. It Mental. is superb. Okay, we'll Never tackle yoga control. next when we come back. Stay with us and get fit. We'll be right back. Thank you, kids. That was great.